and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film a vlog. I wanted to film a morning routine this morning but I kind of woke up, did my morning routine and forgot to film any of it. I was gonna film like a nice morning routine and do like a voiceover because I did do my, after, uh, my evening routine um, last week. So I wanted to do that but forgot to film my morning routine. So I'm just gonna do a random vlog but I'm gonna still include what I wanted to include in that video in this video anyway and I've got a few things to do. This video is actually in collaboration with Zuku Skin so I'll show you that later on in the video but apart from that it's just gonna be a casual video. I have done my makeup today and the only things that I've done today is my makeup, tidied up my flat, sprayed everything, made everything smell really nice and be honest i've not done a whole bunch so i really do need to crack on i need a cup of tea because i'm thirsty and i'm getting a headache um from being thirsty so there we go but just thought i would share with you that these are my new favorite sweets they're raspberry mushrooms from the co-op and you can get three for a pound i don't know why i love the taste of these so much and you can have seven for 73 calories i think that's decent um so yeah love those I also mentioned in a previous video that I had my nails done. I have actually taken them off, but I will stick them back on again. The colour I had was this one. I just purchased all of these from Amazon for £10. Like, you literally get so many colours. It's insane. So, yeah, I love them. I think my favourite colour is the one that I had on in a previous video that I filmed. I also really like this shade as well. And... To be honest, I love them all. So yeah, I would highly recommend if you're like into nails, you can trim them down and stuff. So don't worry. And also if you are gonna get them, I recommend purchasing this glue. This is the Elegant Touch Brush On Nail Glue. This is the strongest nail glue that I have found and my nails actually stay on unless I have actually whacked them against something. Right, I'm gonna head downstairs and make myself a cup of tea. I've also got something to update you on that I have done and accomplished. I will show you it in a minute, but I am going to make a tea. My washing machine is going. So yeah, let's make a cup of tea. Later on, I'm going to bake some shortbreads, like mini gingerbread shortbreads, because I've got leftover shortbread pastry. So I'm going to do that. Mug. So whilst my cup of tea is brewing, I thought I would just talk to you about something I've done recently. I have actually made my hamster a new hamster cage. I've wanted to do this since before I even got Stanley. I've had him five months now, pretty much five months exactly. And I wanted to get him eventually you know, a fairly much bigger cage because the cages that the pet shop sell are not good enough for a hamster like people may disagree with me but i personally think like they're okay but there's just no freedom like imagine being you know stuck in a cage all day long i just wanted something bigger and just something for him to actually be able to run around in and to like you know bury himself in sawdust if he wants to even though he doesn't tend to do that so i haven't actually put that much sawdust in because it's just a waste because he doesn't really like he tends to stick to the areas where there is less sawdust but it's there if he needs it um so yeah i've done that i'll show you that in a second and i've had quite a few comments on my videos actually this kind of annoys me i will talk about this is when people don't even bother watching my video and they comment on it saying something and I'm like, H did you watch the video? Because I actually mentioned that in the video. And then they go back and they're either like, oh yeah, sorry. Or they just ignore the fact that I've said, I actually addressed that in the video. And they just carry on talking. Somebody said, oh, um, Stanley's cage isn't big enough. Get him a new one, he's not a toy. And in that video where I was speaking about it, I said, I'm getting him a new cage. I'm getting him a bigger cage. And um, they, they just people just don't watch the videos so if you're going to comment especially when it comes to things like that watch the video listen to what i have to say and then comment on it there's a lot of hamster you know people out there that just like to moan so um if you're one of those people just watch someone's video before you start commenting so i think it's just worth bearing that in mind um but yeah i'll show you the cage now i'm just boiling my little cup of tea if you can hear a rattling noise it's my my boiler Okay, I'll put the light on. Oh yeah, please excuse the cupboard. That's where I keep a lot of stock for my products and stuff. It actually goes all the way down there. Um, there's a lot in there. Um, but this is his cage. 
It's so much better than his previous one. The previous one had like, you know what a typical hamster cage looks like, don't you? But it was a decent sized cage. It had three levels, but this is so much better. Hamsters need to run and he was doing that. He was running. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I'll do a mini tour. First things first, um, we are going to change this lid. That is a temporary lid but he's fine at the minute. It just stops him from jumping out because he has done that twice. So I know that he can do it. So over here, we've got like sawdust a little bit higher. He, you know, he, he likes that area, but he tends to focus on, you know, the more kind of flatter areas. I think that's what he's used to. So don't come at me and say hamsters need like 10, um, I don't know, meters of sawdust. Okay, we're improving, we're progressing. This is better than his last cage. So just stay there. Oh my God, there's a little nut in his home. Anyway, um, his food bowl, his little wheel which he loves that wheel so much then he's got a little homemade home with his name written on it stanley and then he's actually in there asleep now with his bedding maybe i can get a little clip of him later on and then his water bottle is literally just stuck on with tape and also a bit of string he is absolutely stable but it probably will fall off at some point so i am gonna you know sort that out but it's just temporary because i literally only just made this the other day so I put a water bowl in there just in case. Um, and then there's a carrot, which is not edible, but it's one of those things where he can like chew on it, which he actually really likes that. And then this is a um, tunnel and he absolutely loves that tunnel. He literally dives straight through it. So yeah, he loves that. And then we've got a climbing frame thing at the back. I don't know if you can see that, um, but it's just there. And yeah, he climbs up there and he goes on top. And then this is something that I made. It's actually fallen on its side now. I just made it out of cardboard and he actually climbs on top of that. Sometimes I take off this lid of his cage and he climbs on top of that and that's how he manages to escape. He actually loves that so much. I had to put it on his side because he tried to make that his bed when I want him to be in there because that's his bed. <laughs> um, but he's got used to it now so it's okay. But I just much prefer this. I think it's so much better. He can now run around and I, I really love it. So yeah. Um, I just wanted to show you, but now for my cup of tea. Okay, I finally managed to sit down. I've got my cup of tea. Oh, that's so cute. I love this mug so much. Um, I've got my cup of tea. The heating is, I've actually turned the heating off so that noise should stop in a minute. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd have a little catch up. Like I said, this was meant to be a morning routine and and I forgot. So it's just a casual chatty vlog and I just feel like I've got loads to talk about even though I'm not entirely sure what. I wanna do more vlogs because I do miss them because in Vlogmas I was obviously vlogging because that's what Vlogmas is but I did loads of videos and obviously I was chatting loads in those videos. So I wanna make more chatty videos even if no one watches them. I watch these videos back myself so entertaining myself but why is there so many people walking past? I'm not putting on a show for anybody else apart from who's watching this video. Um, so, uh, yesterday was quite busy. In fact, yesterday was very busy. Didn't even have my lunch until like 4 p.m. because I was packaging orders all day. Somebody who I am very grateful for ordered three of everything that I sell. If you didn't already know, I've got a small skincare business. I will link my Etsy and my eBay in the description, but somebody did order off eBay. Um, three of everything and I was so grateful for that because I literally love making my products. I love the whole process of packaging them. It did take me a little bit longer to post that order than usual because each individual item is made to order, which means that it takes me a lot more time to kind of like package everything and make everything. So I did have to bear that in mind, but yeah, I was very happy to do that and I loved that. So if you do want to check out any of my products, it is linked in the description. I'm a little bit low on cleansing balms, I do have to say, in terms of packaging, because like I said, everything is made to order. Um, but I'm sure I can stock up shortly. Um, but yeah, I also have a new product coming out on Monday. So if you want to kind of know all about that, then please go and follow me on my Fresh Faced Instagram and Facebook page because you'll be informed about that. That's going to be linked in the description as well. And yeah, I've got a new product coming out on Monday so stay tuned for that and yeah lots of things planned this year just to keep myself busy you know um because i just like to be busy um so yeah that's that and um yeah i might as well get on to what this section of the video is so this um section of the video is in collaboration with zuku i haven't actually um filmed this video when i should have basically um basically i should have filmed this video 
like a month ago. They sent me this quite a long time ago. I always like to try products a little bit before I show them and review them because obviously like what if my face falls off or something? I don't know. Um, but I just want to try the product and I think I've left it a little bit too long this time. Um, but I have, I try and space out like when I get sent things to review in videos, I want to space them out so that I'm not just posting review after review after review because you know it's a bit much so i try and space them out um so here is this one and i love this product so i'm more than happy to include it in this video um so i will do like a mini kind of unboxing even though obviously i've already used this product many times 10 plus applications of this so far um so i will try and remember how it was but i think i've done it wrong i can't remember how it was but all i know is it comes with quite a lot of stuff Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. I first of all love the aesthetic of this particular kind of like brand and everything. I think this is the only product that they've got currently, but I do really love the aesthetic of it. So this is the box that it comes in and it says skincare with a conscious and that's the box. I can now chuck this out, now film this video. I've kept it all that while and they've just got a little card with their social medias on them. I've got one of those when you order from me as well, a little card. Um, and then this is another box. This has got the ingredients on it. So if you wanted to know the ingredients of the product, it comes on here it comes on here so this is a face mask it is a australia based hemp clay mask and the actual mask is pretty much the same color as the packaging so again it comes in this little bag which i think is such a good idea and so cute i'm definitely keeping that and this is the face mask it's got a few little marks on it because i have been using it um i could wash that but you know i'm lazy over here um i love the aesthetic of this particular face mask and the fact that the um top is like wooden and the rest of it's glass i really love that so i'll show you what the product looks like on the inside obviously i have been using it quite a little quite a lot so you have to bear that in mind but i really love this smells really nice and when you pop this on your skin like it feels so silky soft i will insert like an overlay clip of me using this but it does it genuinely feels so soft on the skin most clay face masks are there to you know remove impurities and are best for oily skin but when i was using this i actually kind of felt it was almost nourishing um so yeah i really like this face mask it applies really nicely it looks fun on the skin like i love face masks that like are a nice color and it dries down like a normal clay face mask and then you just remove it i do find though if i compare this to my clay face mask when i wash mine off it washes off straight away whereas this one does take a little bit of work to wash it off which is absolutely fine you know if you've got the time or whatever um but i just thought i'd mention that this, this is a review it's not just a this product go and buy it kind of thing um it's fair and honest um so i thought i would just mention that directions to apply is you just apply an even layer over clean dry skin you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes then you remove with warm water or a wet towel pat dry and for best results use two to three times a week i'm reading caroline hiron's skincare book and she said that all brands always say pat dry and she disagrees that you should do your skincare straight after you've washed your face straight onto wet skin and that your skincare will absorb quicker i i can't get involved with that just yet because i don't think i want that like i don't want to um be putting my skincare onto wet skin because it feels weird um but yeah anyway um so yeah i will link their website in the description overall very happy with the product rip and it feels makes my skin feel really nice and soft and nourished and yeah i really love it so i will link that in the description for you and i will also link their instagram as well if you're interested so yeah oh also i forgot to mention it comes with a brush this little brush here i think this brush is so soft i love the idea of it it's got their little name on it however i don't actually use this brush like it's nice and everything but i just apply face masks nowadays with my hands but when i've got my nails done like you've seen because they're so long i do use this brush don't think there's anything else to update you on the only thing that I'm gonna do is talk you through my little to-do list of what I've got to do today. So I've got to clean the fridge, which we will do that next. 
I've then got to bake, which I've discussed, bake um, my little shortbread gingerbread men thingies. I've got to do a workout. I probably won't show too much of that, but I will show sort of what I'm doing in terms of the videos that I follow because I do want to do a whole workout video. Um, but then I just, I don't know, like, does anybody want to see me working out? Like, I don't know. Um, anyway, um, so I'll show you the videos that I follow. Um, and then I've got to do some uni work, just kind of going over some stuff. So not a whole bunch. So I probably won't film the whole evening. I will just film bits and bobs. I've also got to design the label for my new product coming out on Monday. Um, I've got to clear my laptop. I like to do that every two weeks and edit this video that I'm filming right now. Do a liquid peel on my face from the body shop and use my new product, which you don't know what it is. So I've written that down and that is everything. So it sounds kind of busy, but it also isn't if you really kind of look at everything. Um, but yeah, so let's crack on with that list. So I'm about to clean out my fridge. This is the first task. And I like to just get a little video up. This is Steph Tom's video. She's a YouTuber, just watching a makeup tutorial. And yeah, I'm gonna clear out the fridge and then clean it. So I'll show you through that. This butter has very nearly run out, um, but there's still stuff in there, so I am gonna use that. These apples, oh my God, these apples have been there for ages. Like they look absolutely fine, but they have been there for absolute ages. And I really mean that, like, they think, they, I don't know, uh, I'll see about those. <laughs> Maybe I can make them into something, but we'll see. I'll put those into the I have no idea pile. And then on the second shelf, I've got this, which I actually made last night. This is like a vegetarian tomato-y sauce. It's just got vegetables in it. So that's there for like pastas and things. Um, and some onion. A fresh butter for when the other one runs out box of olives just for whenever some grated cheese which um it's nice it's not reduced fat so i need to remember to get that one next time some bacon decided recently that i want to eat a lot less meat than i do i don't eat like excessive amounts but i've been watching a lot of videos about like animals and stuff and i just think like it is a little bit weird like eating animals like isn't it just weird like when you actually get your head around it it is actually quite odd and i know that people will come and say like oh we've been doing it for years but there's many things that we've been doing for years that doesn't make it right so i i just want to start eating less meat because um because i and i want to try and get like protein from other things and have substitutes and things like that so i just want to you know try my hardest so that bacon you know once that's used up i'm just gonna not have any uh, meat i don't think i'm not gonna be full vegetarian because i know that when you go to people's houses i don't expect them to cook me an extra meal even though obviously corona but do you know what i mean like i don't expect people to cook me an extra meal just because i'm vegetarian i hate that um but for me myself i just want to eat less meat and it isn't because of the taste or anything it's because i'm not that bothered about meat in the first place and also i do not agree like over the years i've just really been against the whole like killing of animals just to eat them like that's actually quite wrong like imagine if somebody killed their pets to eat them you would think that is sick in the head and i'm completely wrong and you'll probably your argument will be yeah but they're pets but why like why is it any different do you know what i mean so let's just process that um because to me animals are animals whether they're pets or not they're still got a life and um at the end of the day like you might say that they wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for the places that breed them to kill them but at the end of the day the way that they die is not very nice and if you don't know the way that the animals get killed before you eat them go and watch videos and you'll be enlightened on how horrible it is but i ran over also in the fridge i had this butter i love like actual proper butter for baking so that's for baking and then this is for toast i also had like some raspberry jam in there which is kind of left over then i've got lemon curd love lemon curd I have that on toast sorry my camera is struggling to focus milk filtered milk always get filtered it lasts so much longer brussels sprouts i may have to chuck these because these have been here a little while yeah i think this is in the get rid of pile because i've had those a while and we've got pickled onions little baby pickle oh my god it's leaking did i not put the lid on properly what an idiot right i'll clear that up in a minute 
and we've got a cucumber so still got that we've got a red onion garlic cloves always handy to have even though i have recently bought some ground garlic instead and then an orange pepper and some salad leaves with a little clip on it so i'll keep those okay the kit the fridge is now clear i'm gonna get a hot bowl of soapy water add some bleach and stuff into it and then i'm gonna clean the inside of here okay so i just mixed some bleach into the bowl with a bit of fairy liquid and i added in a little bit of zaflora i just like this because a it's a disinfectant and b it smells so good so yeah i'm cleaning out the tray that's in the fridge i've literally just washed everything with what's in that bowl i'm now going to dry it with a cloth and then afterwards i'm going to spray it with this um fabulosa spray sorry you can't focus it i can't focus it because i can't poke the camera because i'll get it wet with my gloves but yeah i'm gonna spray it with that so it's extra nice okay the fridge is all clean and dry and now i'm gonna pop everything back in okay so i've now finished my fridge i put everything back in that's what it's looking like salad is at the bottom i don't know why i just like having it in there i've put my like jars here the butters that i'm currently using and then cheeses and whatever and then what i actually made at the top so that's that task finished gingerbread men are out of the oven i popped them in this little jar they're not gingerbread i mean shortbread men um so yeah hello so um yeah no makeup on today um it's now the next day i forgot to end this video so i thought i would just come through and end the video i've already edited the whole thing anyway apart from this so i just noticed that i hadn't ended the video so um here is the ending um not really anything else to say i've got you know a fairly busy day i want to kind of clean my bathroom but i don't know um but anyway so thanks for watching this video please subscribe if you haven't already give the video a thumbs up check out the links in the description to Zuku's face mask, the hemp face mask, if you'd like to, and um, have a good day. Goodbye.